Let's talk about making connections. Have you ever played the game where you find a theme among five clues? Here's some. Solemnity, proportional to one over R squared, Newton, John Mayer, and law. All right, so what's the theme? Gravity, of course. Let's play the game again. It's all about connections. Only this time, let me show you five complex maps with all but the briefest of explanations. And if one of them really grabs your interest, I've added additional information in the resources. Are you ready? All right, here's the first. It's a diagram of the economic exchange between sectors in the US. Here's the second. The second is rail volume in tons in the US. The third is energy sources and consumers in the US. The fourth is the rate of technology adoption. What an interesting graph. The fifth is the world of submarine information cables. Pretty complex. So what's the theme? Well, the theme is the interconnected nature of things that are considered essential in society. Not to mention things like health and water. So this part of connections is one aspect. It's understanding the context. It's understanding the landscape. It's systems thinking. Even when scoped to a local community or organization, systems thinking is an essential element of an entrepreneurially minded individual. A second valuable aspect of connections for the entrepreneurially minded individual is the intersection of ideas. Now we've included a terrific collection of resources that emphasize connections to you and your students. They include associative thinking, bisociative thinking, engineering based biomimicry, and even morphological thinking. Let's try an exercise in associative thinking. Associative thinking is where you take two ideas, combine them just to focus the possibilities around those two ideas. All right. So what we'll do is we'll create a matrix. On the left-hand side, we'll focus on creating groups of individuals. For example, we might put faculty as one group, engineering students as another, art students as a third. The more specific the groups are, perhaps the better. Let's be very specific. Let's pick welders and dental hygienists. So we've got five groups on the left. On the top, Let's put some current and upcoming technologies. How about drones, AI personal assistants, big data, and augmented reality? What this technique does is a focus thinking on the combination of ideas at the intersection. For example, if we took engineering students and drones, well, there's certainly possibilities that we may know about there, but let's take dental hygienists and augmented reality. That focus thinking can yield new concepts.